Hey, I'm down most of the night, am I? I'm trying to figure out how to connect this third-party vault-free thermostat to this unit. Oh, it's good unite's third-party vault-free. Good to hear you saying vault-free. If you look at this wiring strip along the top here, it's known as X2M. Can you see anywhere that you might be connecting your thermostat? Where it says thermostat? What well I mate. Yeah, it is as simple as that. You can see there are a number of connections in that strip there. If you've only got one heating zone, your thermostat will go between 30 and 35. So I connect my thermostat to terminals 30 and 35. That's it. And just make sure it's volt free, as you've already said. OK, will do. There's quite a few terminals in there, though, isn't there? Easy to make a mistake. Mm. Have you any idea what the other connections are for, Dan, at all? No, not at all. No? If you could explain that, that would be most useful. All right, OK. So, so 30 and 35 we know we're using for our main heating zone. Um, we've got 35A. That would be if you had an additional zone. So A okay. for additional. Yeah, yep. makes, makes sense, sense, doesn't yep. it? Yeah. Then we've got 34 and 34A. So that's cooling zones, an additional cooling zone. So okay. that's good. And then that only leaves, I think, terminal 31. And terminal 31 is a permanent live. So if you need a live maybe for a receiver on a wireless thermostat or something like that, you could use it for that purpose. OK. Does but that make sense? It does. But just for my thermostat then, the main zone is between 30 and 35. That's it, mate. You got it. OK, so I understand where to connect the thermostat to on this particular unit. But last week I was connecting to a monoblock type system and the layout was completely different. Where would I connect to on that system? Oh, that's a really good question, Dan. So, Dan, does this look like the wiring connections you were working with? Yes, it's the exact same unit. OK, so same question then, Dan, really. Looking at the, uh, the wiring strip on the right-hand side, can you see any connections that you might use? Any clues? The one that says thermostat? Yeah, perfect. OK, the numbers are different this time. Uh, if you've got one heating zone and it's your main heating zone, then it's connections uh, two and connection one. OK, so connections one and two from our main zone. That's correct. And that's obviously for your vault-free room thermostat, yeah. OK. What are the other numbers for? What are the other terminals used for? Well, 1A is your second or additional heating zone. So if you had two heating zones, you'd use 1A. Um, and terminal 2A is for a cooling zone, if you had a cooling zone. So I know which terminals to connect to. Is there a specific type of thermostat that I should be using? Well, you've got the key thing, Dan, to be honest. It's vault-free. Um, just look out for TPI or fuzzy logic. Um, they have a tendency to cycle the heat pump on and off, which isn't really very good for a heat pump, as I'm sure you know. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you'd like to learn more, please consider booking onto a Daikin training course. If you need more immediate help on site, please contact the Technical Helpline.